Hey everyone, my name is Lucas, I'm with The Culture Project, and today we're gonna talk about what it means to have greatness of heart. Stay tuned. Growing up, all I wanted to do was be great at baseball. I wanted to be the best baseball player that I could be. I look back on my desire as a little boy and realize that that desire is still the same today to be great. I'd imagine that every one of us, at some point in our lives, realize the desire within ourselves to be truly great, to be set apart from the rest, to be seen truly for what we can do and what we have to offer. Today, I wanna to challenge this notion of what it means to be great. This type of greatness that I wanna talk about can be summed up within the virtue of magnanimity. Yeah, save that five times fast. Magna what? St. Thomas Aquinas called this virtue the adornment of all the virtues. The magnanimous man or woman is one who possesses greatness of heart. To be magnanimous is to pursue what is truly good and honorable and to do all things well. Magnanimous people take stock of all that God has given them and they strive to use their own talents and gifts in the best way possible with precision. Now, some of us may be tempted to think, that can't be me. However, the opposite is true. This virtue is meant for all people, even those who are the smallest, most simple, maybe even a little bit bizarre of people. Take Jan Tiranowski, for example. Now, Jan was a tailor. Most people knew him as a strange middle-aged man with blonde hair, a high-pitched laugh, and piercing eyes. His neighbors always spoke of his oddness and his intensity. He was a bachelor who lived with his mother in a small apartment across the street from a man by the name of Carol Waitiwa, or later known as Pope John Paul II. In the midst of the Nazi regime's attempt to destroy the entirety of Polish culture, Jan was given an opportunity to fight for his faith. At this time, the church in Poland turned to normal people like Jan to lead underground groups with the sole purpose of passing on the faith to the younger generation. It was in one of these groups that Jan had a tremendous impact on the life of Pope John Paul II. John Paul II himself said of Jan, Tiranowski was truly one of those unknown saints, hidden among others like a marvelous light at the bottom of life at a depth where night usually reigns. In his words, in his spirituality, and in the example of a life given to God alone, he represented a new world that I did not yet know. I saw the beauty of a soul opened up by grace. When I think of what it means to be magnanimous, I think of people like Jan, a man who wasn't as qualified as most, and also a man who was counted out because of how he looked and was perceived. He knew what he was called to, and he went for it. The same is to be said for all of us. In a world that is obsessed with self-improvement, so few people are choosing to be great in the smallest of ways, and frankly, many of us are okay with being mediocre in the biggest of ways. We're in need most especially of people who demonstrate greatness of heart. Being a good person isn't enough. In everything that we do, striving for excellence is our call. This virtue may demand that we go beyond our daily obligations. It demands we make more sacrifices for the sake of others. You know your abilities. You know your gifts. Like the Jan Tiranowski's of the world, in all things be great. In all things be magnanimous. What's up guys, it's Lucas with The Culture Project. Thank you for watching. If you wanna subscribe, come right on up here. And if you wanna watch more videos, come right on over here. Thanks guys.